Hey there guys, welcome to Dino's Vault. Today I give you my exclusive first ride review of the all new TVS Apache RTR 200, the race pack edition. I tell you everything that you need to know about this new variant that has been launched. So without further ado, let's get started with this review. First of all, special thanks to my good old friend Mr. Tirupati from Sushil TVS for allowing me to review these bikes for you. For booking details, the exact on-road price and any other query, you can call the number appearing on the screen currently. Now this is the dual channel ABS variant that was launched recently and the demand for this variant is so high that bikes have been just disappearing off of the showrooms as soon as they appear and I'm not surprised because this is the only 200cc bike to offer dual channel ABS. The Pulsar 200NS also offers an ABS variant and you can watch my first ride review of the 200NS ABS model by following the link in the description portion below. So as I mentioned, the Pulsar 200NS also offers an ABS variant but it is a single channel ABS variant with RLP which means ABS is operational only on the front wheel. The RTR 200 on the other hand offers dual channel ABS with RLP which means ABS is operational both on the front and the rear wheel simultaneously which is a lot safer considering the kind of performance these bikes have on offer. We also get another safety feature on board that usually functions in conjunction with the ABS and that is called RLP or rear wheel lift off protection. Now this ensures and prevents the rear wheel from lifting off of the road under harsh braking or panic braking scenarios which further enhances the overall safety of the rider. Now you must be wondering whether this video is about the ABS variant or the RTR 200 race edition variant that comes along with the slipper clutch. I can say it's about both because I feel TVS have combined all these first and segment features and they are offering it in one variant called the race edition 2.0. So this RTR 200 race edition 2.0 comes with the slipper clutch. Now I know you just cannot believe what you hear but it is true and it is something really revolutionary in the entire 200cc segment here in our market because no one else offers a slipper clutch and dual channel ABS in the 200cc category as of yet. Now this has come right out of the box and has taken almost everyone by surprise. So as per the new site updation, we now get the RTR 200 Race Edition 2.0 with gorgeous looking body graphics and the slipper clutch. We get two variants to choose from. First the FI variant and then we have the ABS variant. You need to note here that the ABS variant comes only with the carbureted model as of now and has not yet been made available for the FI model. So now looking at the RTR 200 variants list, first we have the base variant of the RTR 200 Race Edition 2.0 being priced at Rs 97,295. We then have the Race Edition variant with Pirelli tires being priced at 1,2,295. Then we have the Race Edition FI variant being priced priced at Rs 1,9995 and I've already done a dedicated review for the FI variant. You can watch that review by following the link in the description portion below. Finally, we have the Race Edition Dual Channel ABS variant which is priced at Rs 1,11,095. Now please note that all prices mentioned are ex-showroom Hyderabad and to know the exact on-road prices, you can call the number I had mentioned earlier in this video. You can also check out my 200NS vs RTR 200 detailed comparo video by following the link mentioned in the description portion below. Now coming to what all new we get with the Race Edition 2.0 variant, the first and the most significant inclusion has to be that of the ART slipper clutch wherein ART stands for anti-reverse torque which means this is a back torque limiting system that prevents the rear wheel from hopping or skidding in situations where you have to downshift rapidly like just before heading into a corner after a long straight or even a panic braking scenario wherein you need to cut down speed rapidly. Now the slipper clutch also offers a fatigue free riding experience because of 22% reduction in the clutch force and as a result the clutch feel is a lot lighter. Secondly we also now get these drop dead gorgeous looking body graphics and paint schemes that well and truly take the visual appeal of this bike to a completely different level. The bike's overall aesthetics, the sharp cuts and creases really come alive and are now a lot more pronounced with these new decals update. We also get 5 color schemes to choose from although my personal favorite undoubtedly has to be this black and red color variant. 
Thirdly, we now get these folk protectors that really look cool and also serve the purpose. Fourthly, we also now get TVS's trademark horse insignia that comes imbibed on the fuel tank and as a result, the Apache branding has now been moved to the side panels as you can see here. We also get this small visor up front that was already made available since the time the FI variant was launched. Now, this lends the bike a more aggressive front end look and also does its part by fending off the wind blast to some extent. Finally, as mentioned before, we also have the option of choosing either the FI variant or the dual channel ABS variant. So the ABS variant for now is being made available only for the carbureted variant and not for the FI variant. And also as per the new price list, we still have the option of choosing to go with Pirelli tires as opposed to the Remora tires that come fitted as standard. Now coming to the main section as to how the bike rides. Please note that the specs remain the same for this race spec edition as well as the ABS variant. We get the same 4 stroke single cylinder oil cooled 197.75cc engine that puts out 20.5 PS of max power at 8500 rpm and 18.1 Nm of max torque at 7000 rpm. This comes mated to a 5 speed gearbox. For the FI variant, the power increases by 0.5 PS so the FI variant puts out 21 PS of max power. The torque however remains the same for both. Also please note that both the bikes that I am riding in this review are carbureted variants. Now taking the bikes out for a spin, the race edition with the slipper clutch feels much better sorted out than the first generation RTR 200. The fit and finish as it is was very impressive and now it just feels even better or maybe it's just the paint scheme and the new decals pattern that is allowing each and every design element to be more visible and more striking. It's almost like the Spider-Man getting a brand new suit from Tony Stark. The bike just feels so premium now with all these aforementioned updates. It just takes a significant leap well ahead of other higher priced machines in the 200 to 250cc category. Also the engine response is now far more pleasing and exciting and thrilling all at the same time. The slipper clutch does weave its magic by offering an ultra light clutch feel. Also while downshifting and rapidly cutting down the speed, the control now is much much better than that of the preceding model. The bike comes to a standstill in a more controlled manner. The seats are super comfy although the foam quality is the same as that of the preceding model. The engine remains completely vibration free up to speeds of around 110 km per hour. It also feels rock solid and incredibly stable at higher speeds courtesy of the race origin synchro stiff split cradle chassis that uses multi body dynamics analysis. The throttle response is amazing and overall the riding experience is truly intense and a completely engaging one. Now this comes courtesy of the lightweight nano fricks coated piston that delivers high revving performance with linear throttle response across the entire rev band while also promising longer engine life. Also TVS's patented O3C or oil cooled combustion chamber technology with ram air assist reduces the engine heating by 10 degrees so the heat management is also well taken care of. Talking about the brakes, we get a 270mm pedal disc up front and a 240mm pedal disc at the back. The braking is superb on the dual channel ABS model. Even the non ABS model is reasonably good but when we have the option, I would wholeheartedly suggest that you spend that extra 14k and get yourself the dual channel ABS variant because I feel it is worth every single penny. Now coming to my trademark braking test segment. Please note that I'm riding the ABS variant here. You can see here that I'm doing speeds of around 62 km per hour and I slam on the brakes really hard. The bike comes to a standstill in just 2.53 seconds which is really impressive. Now having ABS on board just gives you that secure feeling and a far more reassuring feel. My humble suggestion as a well-wisher and if you really care about your loved ones, please do not think about that extra 14k because getting the ABS model not only minimizes your chances of a fatality, it also really shows that you actually care about the people who care about you. Now talking about the suspension, we get 37mm telescopic front forks from Kayaba. At the back we get a monoshock which is precision tuned for compression and rebound damping. The setup is not too rigid nor is it too soft. It soaks up the bumps well at lower speeds and offers superb stability at higher speeds. Talking about the tires, we get 17 inch wheels and tubeless tires. We get a 90 by 90 tire up front and a 130 by 70 tire at the back. The Remora tires offer decent road grip and I would suggest that you go with Pirelli tires only if you prefer going to track day events regularly. Ground clearance is 180 mm, more than sufficient to clear the speed breakers in our city. The seat height is 800 mm, again ideally set to suit riders of all sizes. 
The tank capacity is 12 liters. I really wish the tank capacity were at least 16 liters because the bike is an absolute delight on the highways and a larger tank would have offered much better tank range. Mileage wise there is no official claim as such and as per my friend who owns this bike it is around 38 kmpl under mixed riding conditions which is really impressive. So I guess that's pretty much it. This wraps up my review of the all new RTR 200 race edition 2.0. So until next time this is Dino saying ciao. Take care, God bless and ride safe.